What is a common thing in your country but rare in others? Such cheap olive oil. And eating incredibly late. Lunch is more or less at 1 to 3 p.m., and dinner at 9 to 10 p.m. That is why in Spain we have snacks between foods. Isn't the reason for eating late having to do with an old dictator's rule or something? I remember reading about that. I visited Spain over 10 years ago and absolutely loved it. I really enjoyed going to breakfast at a bread shop, in Galicia, and having my toast with a sort of tomato sauce. I don't remember what it was called, but if I remember correctly it had tomato slash olive oil in it. I could not get enough pulpo it was sad when I returned to the states and attempted to have it here, or just seafood in general, such fond memories. P.S. also miss the 2 hour siesta midday. Saunas in most apartments or at least apartment buildings, haven't lived in a building that doesn't have one. A lot of great well-known, and underground, metal bands. And a nuclear power plant that is at this point 11 years behind schedule and according to Wikipedia the third most expensive building in the world. Edit, corrected a typo. Too bad my apartment doesn't have a sauna, but there is luckily one I use nearby. Also Lamawalkilu Oto. I work for the company building that plant. I typed up long-winded explanation, but I decided this would sum it up better, sigh. People don't talk to new people here for some reason. I'd rather stand than sit on that empty seat next to a stranger every sweet ever. I remember striking up a conversation with a stranger in Scandinavia. She said, you must be American. Only Americans talk to strangers. That's one thing I miss about America when I lived in Los Angeles for a few years. Here nobody ever talks to anyone unless they have been formally introduced. Scheduled blackouts to reduce pressure on the electrical grid. Especially the kind they just surprise you with at a random time in the afternoon. Stage TW4. Ha ha, had you going there. Now pay my exorbitant fees, peasant. South Africa? I have a team member in Durban who educated me about it. Pharmaceutical ads. And the grocery list of potential life-ending side effects they come with. Either the United States or New Zealand. Tiltable windows, apparently. First time I ever encountered a tiltable window it was one that opened normally outwards but the top tilted inward. It scared the shit out of me I thought it was falling on top of me. Saw tiltable windows, and doors, when I visited a friend in Austria last summer. I really just thought I broke it. The door was a whole other issue. I simply could not figure out how to just open the door. Always got it in a tilt and had to be rescued every time. Edit, spelling. Bagged milk, legal weed and fermented maple syrup. I didn't even you could ferment maple syrup. Bagged milk was a mystery I loved in school. Lil square pouch and you just shank it with the straw and suck. In Colombia, hot chocolate is served with slices of salted cheese in it. I feel like that is something that sounds disgusting but actually isn't that bad. Burn in hell with your monstrosity of a drink. Welsh people edit, in Wales we don't say what is a common thing in your country we say alarif in dia toil dos quelge in dda. I worked with a guy from Wales and I would make him say stuff in Welsh all the time. I later found out he was just swearing at me in Welsh. That's how I knew he was really from Wales. Wales right? Tax not included in advertised price. Land above you does that too. Greetings from Canada. Oh boy, Australia has a single pricing law which states, when prices are advertised or promoted, products and services must clearly display a single price, which is the minimum total cost that is able to be calculated. This should include, all taxes, duties and extra fees, and the price of all aspects of the final product and service. It's great, and I wish everywhere had it. People who speak four to five languages fluently. It's the goddamn Dutch. Must be an ex-U country. Serbo-Croatian became, Serbian, Bosnian, Croatian, and Montenegrin. Add English slash French slash Spanish slash Macedonian or some other language, you're already at five. 
biltong, spiced dried meat. Also rusks. Well we have it here in NZ as well, but that's because of all the South Africans that live here now and provide us with this deliciousness. Full size pickup trucks. Also, full size lifted pickup trucks. I'm sure the country where this is Texas. If I can step on the side rail it isn't high enough. The liberal use of the word cunt. Mad cunt sick cunt shit cunt cunts fucked dog cunt scan on. Cunt? Cunt of a thing cunt. Allow me to translate, mad cunt, good bloke sick cunt, very good bloke shit cunt, jerk slash asshole cunts fucked, it's broken. Dog cunt, a deplorable person scan on, cunt, how are you, friend? Cunt of a thing, this is really irritating. Cunt, could be anything without context. Australia. Root beer. In America this is widely available and basically universally liked, but give it to someone from another country, especially a European country, and they will hate it. My brother-in-law is from Denmark and he says root beer tastes like their toothpaste. He hates root beer and can't understand why we love it so much. I'm from Europe, but I studied in Canada last fall semester and I fell in love with root beer while I was there. I kinda miss it now I'm back home again frown. Pantomimes at Christmas. Real ale. Separate hot and cold taps. Mint sauce. Brown sauce. Thanking the bus driver, with a cheers, drive in my neck of the woods. Apologizing when someone else steps on your foot. Gotta be UK. I guessed it was UK at brown sauce, haven't really heard people describe sauces with just the color elsewhere. Maple syrup heists. Really really lucrative maple syrup heists. Oh Canada. Butter tarts and curling. I was lying on the grass of Sunday morning of last week. Don't forget Nanaimo bars. Milk dispensers at school cafeterias, or restaurants but it's not as common. I live in Sweden where food and drinks such as water and milk is provided free for students. Whenever I tell someone outside of Scandinavia that we have milk dispensers they're always very surprised. We have milk dispensers at some buffet style restaurants here in the US. It's not common other than that, though. School cafeterias here usually give milk in a carton, and you have to pay for it unless your family is poor. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.